what's up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good so today i have some new products from bella vina to share with you guys i have this mini jelly tip kit and i also have some gel polishes um they recently released some gel polishes they're like little duos so i got three different shades to show you guys um i have a pink glittery one a gold glittery one and also like a really pretty nude pink shade but yeah they're like gel polish duos they're 15 milliliter bottles um, but one of them is gel and then the other one is kind of like the matching regular polish that you can use for your toes if you don't really do gel on your toes so yeah they're really really great quality I'm gonna show you guys the swatches and everything but right now I'm gonna unbox the little jelly tip kit and show you guys what comes inside here this little kit is so cute it like includes everything you need to do like um, gel nails kind of like that a press dupe method um, so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing today so the first thing it comes with is a bottle it's a four-in-one base coat this is actually a multifunctional gel that you can use as a base coat, a nail tip glue, a slip solution, and a strengthening gel. You also get some rhinestones, a set of 300 um, full cover nails, and then there's also a little mini UV LED lamp um, for curing. I really like this lamp because it's open and the button is like right there where you put your finger in. So when you're like holding the tip down for the gel on your nail, you can just put it right in the lamp and like it's so easy you're not like going all crazy with your fingers trying to like cure your nails and everything which is one thing that i struggled with with um using like the base gel with the um, full cover nails so i'm really happy that somebody was smart enough to think of something like this um it also comes with it like a little instruction manual as well so I'm going to put this stuff away and I'm going to show you guys the swatches of all the polishes. But yeah, I was super excited that Bellavina came out with gel polishes. Double Dip has really come a long way. Originally, they only um, made like dip powder products, but now they're doing other stuff like poly gels and gel polishes. But yeah, these are what like all of them look like outside of the packaging. Um, they are glass bottles and they have like a little rose gold top, which I love. I think they're so like fancy and cute. Um, so yeah. Um, let's go ahead and open these up so I can go ahead and swatch them for you guys. So the first one that I'm going to be swatching is this really pretty gold glittery shade. And this one is called Goldilock. I'm not sure if these are still in stock. I believe one of them is currently in stock. It might be Trendsetter, which is that pink shade. They sell out really, really fast. So... I'm going to leave the links to everything in the description box, um, but yeah, definitely check back if you were interested in these. I do have a 20% off discount code with Double Dip, but yeah, um, the pink glittery shade is called Little by Little, and then the pink shade, like I said, is called Trendsetter. As you can see with one coat, um, Trendsetter was pretty pigmented. I'm just going to apply a second coat of all of them. Um, just to show you like you know what they look like with two coats the glitters definitely need a second coat but that's not bad for like glitter polishes mainly with most polishes you need two coats um, I'm just gonna apply a second coat to trendsetter just so you guys can see but as you can see it was pretty much full coverage with one coat if you had shorter nails you probably would only need one coat um, longer nails you might need two and I'm also gonna go ahead and top coat with this Bellavina no wipe gel top coat um, this actually comes in a set with a dehydrator primer and a no wipe top coat and also like a press on glue gel so i'll link that down below as well but yeah let's just jump right into the tutorial this is literally going to be the fastest manicure ever so you want to start by pushing back your cuticles of course and then you're going to want to rough the surface up of your natural nails which I already did off camera so I'm kind of like reenacting it but yeah and then after that you're gonna want to go in with your dehydrator and primer I always go in with a dehydrator anyway even though I like rough up the surface of my nails and by the way I do still have acrylic on the tips of my nails I leave it there um, because I just file my nails down when I remove them I don't soak them off because I change them so much and they can become brittle but yeah, I'm also doing two coats of the Bellavina primer and I'm going to kind of like fan that off so it dries 
and some of my nails are kind of broken because I'm so rough with my nails so excuse that but that's why we're here to do our nails so that they don't look crazy all right so now um I'm gonna apply the base gel you want to apply a thin layer because this stuff is really really thick um, you don't need like a massive amount of it just enough to coat your nails so that when you apply the full cover nail on top of the gel it like grips onto it and it will also protect your natural nails as well so apply a thin layer of that and then cure for 60 seconds in your big lamp I did go ahead and pre-size these off camera um, and you want to make sure that they fit sidewall to sidewall when you do that and then you just take the gel and you apply a little bit of it to the inside of the press on and when you place it on your nail I kind of turn the lamp on before I start to place it on my nail but I push it up by the cuticle and then slowly press down and you want to hold it down so you don't get like any air bubbles or anything because then water will be able to get through to your nails and cause like the green spots and stuff like that or like lifting you don't want that so you want to make sure there's no bubbles and hold it down really good and then just put your finger in the lamp but you see how easy it is to like put your hand in the lamp i always struggled with that that's why i never liked using base gel because it would like slide all over the place because i was trying to put my hand in the lamp and it was just a mess that's why i used to use poly gel but i kind of do like using the base gel better because um you know it's not as bulky it's a lot flatter on your nails so yeah you basically want to do the same thing for all of them and if you wanted like even extra like hold you can etch the inside of these um full cover nails before you put the base shell on um so that maybe it'll have a stronger grip if you have issues with them popping off i don't really ever have that issue so as you can see this one was a little bit wide i'm kind of like in between sizes on my ring finger between a four and a three so i'm going to take my hand file and file up the sides um and you just want to keep checking because you don't want to like over file it you want it to fit like perfectly sidewall to sidewall so that there's no like lifting or any way for like water or anything to get in So after all of your nails are cured, you're going to want to take a hand file and just kind of like file up the sides to make the nails like more aligned with your natural nails, just so it looks more natural. And you know, sometimes um, when they make these full cover nails, um, a little bit of the gel kind of like gets like on the end, you know, that little piece that hangs off. So you need to file that off just to like shape them up, you know, a little bit. You really don't have to do a lot of filing because they're already pre-shaped. But yeah, these are made out of gel, by the way. I forgot to mention that. So they do have a little bit of thickness to them already. So they kind of already have an apex. And then when you add your polishes and stuff on top of them, um, they will become even thicker and more like structured for your nails, which is really, really good. Um, I did a cure for 60 seconds in my bigger lamp after I you know, applied all the tips just to make sure that they were fully cured. Okay. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the nails. I literally got this set done so quick. Usually I'm up till like seven in the morning doing my nails, but like it didn't even take me that long. It took me like, like an hour maybe to film everything and stuff like that. And if I wasn't filming, it would probably take me like 20 or 30 minutes. But since I'm filming, everything has to be all neat and like in place and stuff. But yeah, I was super happy about that. I definitely will be using these again. Like if I need to do something really quick, I, I don't know. I just think it's really good, especially for those people that, you know, are looking for something faster, don't really have time to sit there and do their nails a lot, or like you can't wear really long, long nails. Um, for your job or whatever. I think these are like the perfect length. To me, they're kind of short, but I know most people, this is like regular length for them. But yeah, anyways, I applied that pink glittery shade, just a little light, um, you know, wash of the glitter onto the nails. I didn't want it like super pigmented um, because I'm adding like glitters on top of it. So I used the color little by little and I'm using this um, star glitter mix that I got from one of the Beatles gel polish kits. If I can find this separately, I will link it down below in the description box. Um, but I'm placing the glitters into the gel and I'm going to cure them in place. Um, you want to make sure they're as flat as possible because we're going to be going over them with a base gel um, to kind of like seal everything in. It's just like a faster way to encapsulate them. And I'm also going to be painting trendsetter on the rest of the nails. Alright, so I did cure the nails for 60 seconds and I'm going in with a second coat of Trendsetter on the nails and then I'm also going to be taking the base gel that came with the jelly tip kit and I'm going to be using that to encapsulate the glitters. Um, you definitely want to put something over them so that they don't like, you know, get ripped off from your nails. That's why I said they need to be like flat on your nail. So then when you apply that gel over them, it kind of creates a seal over them. Um, and don't worry if you don't get them fully covered um, this time because we're gonna be going in with a top coat, but you want to seal as much of the glitter with the gel as you can. And to finish everything up, I'm just going to go ahead and top coat all the nails with the Bellavina No Wipe Top Gel. And you want to make sure that you apply enough of it to seal the glitter in if you didn't seal it all the way with the base gel. Um, this way you don't have to worry about it coming off later on. Um, I'm also going to be placing some of the rhinestones that came with the kit into the gel. If you want them to last longer, you can use a bling gel or something. I'm not keeping mine on long, so I'm just going to place them into the top coat. They stayed on pretty good for the most part. I haven't had any that fell off yet. Um, but yeah, doing this kind of does tend to kind of bulk up the nails. You know, they do lose their shape a little bit. So after I cure my nails, I just take a hand file and go ahead and file up the sides a little bit just to redefine the shape but you want to make sure you file like behind the nail so you don't break the seal on the top coat and yeah that's pretty much all i do this was a super fast manicure i think they turned out so cute let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you're new to the channel i would love it if you subscribed because i post nail tutorials and reviews every week you definitely don't want to miss out and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.